dumb frenzy to survive bastards. All right, we gotta vamoose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. He's still going to break a window, so what's the difference? There's nothing interesting in here. He's going to enter through our window. Okay. I just thought that LP is way better on Malkavians. She hear voices. And now my Nosferatu hears voices. She hears me talking. That must be annoying. See? I told you. He just broke that window. For no reason. So why did we have to use doors? We are going to use windows, if we can. Ah, uh, shortcut. Uh, nice to go, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? I had my moments. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabai assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you expect. Wait, I still got that list of people from high school. Why not? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. It's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Oh, I get it. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We live in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a pleasant like you. What do you mean? What could happen? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. <laughs> they make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. I see. And you, my fuzzy friend, they're gonna have it extra hard. A little effort and the rest of us can blend in okay. The sight of your hideous ass hits the internet and it's all over. There's a reason most Nosferatu smell like the sewer. Figure it out. Great. That just makes my night. Alright, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Okay, but what does that mean exactly? You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. We gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I find it. We have to run around again. Because he is not allowing us to enter through this window. Okay, now he said we should use sewers, but it's so much easier to walk in the middle of the street. Uh, really, the NPCs have vision problems probably, because they usually don't see me. What? You give it up. Okay, ah, look there's a password the on the wall. On. But we can hack the computer. It's quite easy. See? We have a good hacking skill. Unlocked. Take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from topside. Got it. And once again, he disappeared. I like Jack. He's a nice character.
place to unlike, these sabat vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey! Look at them potholes! Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but it'll do. What's the difference? Blood's blood, right? Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. If you say so. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. Let's see, I get a little overzealous. Or something like that. What happens then? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you have welling up inside you. The beast? What exactly does that mean? The beast? It's always there. It's waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. They'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. So, I can't kill anyone? That seems a little oh, restrictive. I, I, I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> I think I follow. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity. And don't go hungry. It's a fine line. Got it. All right, now go. 